I was just practicing golfing, sorry. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Well, I tell you what, boy, it's time to go out in the shop and earn a hard day's work. Uh, 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 hopefully we don't find water in the exhaust. Uh, 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 come on, old girl. <laughs> what? I made you laugh. Shut up. Before I forget, did you see the video that I put in Cars and Motorsports this morning? No. I will look at it now, though. I see somebody posted something from Mark Ass Brownlee. Slightly better view of the crime. Crime? Crime? Okay, this is Lab Pod right here. What's, what's up? I gotta pick my nose. I don't give a fuck who knows. Get it? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like the Jeep's rotted a little bit since I since the last time I worked on it. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> it's ran over a freaking cone. <laughs> okay. Okay, man. All right, so that's how we're gonna start. That's how we're gonna start the day. All right, okay, okay. Oh, uh, for the people that don't know, I, I I worked on that truck, on the red truck that ran over the cone. That's yeah, it's, it's a buddy of mine. <laughs> Hey, I, I fixed it enough to get it to Texas, okay? It was in my shop here. We are not close to Boca Chica, so, you know, I got that going for me, which is nice. All right. So that's on you? Oh, no, no. I fixed the truck. I cannot be held responsible for what happens when someone drives it, okay? I cannot ha be held responsible. At all. Nope. Not me. Shop time. Shop time. Shop time. That cone had kids. Yeah, they saw it too, right in front of it. They saw Daddy Cone get ran over by some American metal. That's right. That's what we do. I go to bed, you're streaming. I come back, you're streaming. Do you sleep?
No. Yeah? I got eight hours. <coughs> Shop time. We gotta fix this. And he just kept going. <laughs> All right. Stand by for loss of signal from the office as expected. Hello? Hello? Five by six. AOS on the flannel shirt. Yeah, that's right. Midge, for some reason, whenever I put this shirt on, it makes me want to talk like this. I don't know why. <laughs> Your ears and eyes are being filled. All right, well that's that's good. That's good. Now you get a while. Now you get to watch me button up my shirt here. <laughs> you can't see my legs, dude. I don't give a frick what anybody says. These are super comfortable work pants. Super super comfortable. Super comfortable. Why don't we slip you into something more comfortable, Anakin? Comfortable would be good. All right. Crack o open a beer can? It's like 10 in the morning. I mean... There's no beer in the fridge. There's no beer in the fridge. I, I drank all of it. No, 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 no. Don't fear not. I have beer in another fridge. It's just in the house. Bodega. Say it with me. <laughs> Bodegas. Yes, yes, very good. Seriously, though, I'll be right back.
I did this for you, Spicy. I did this for you. What other streamer would do that? I hate beer, refuse to drink it even for social. I know I'm weird. It's not weird. Beer is one of those things that you kind of have to grow into. I'm out of breath from running 150 feet. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. So like, here's the thing about beer. It tastes terrible the first time you try it. it tastes awful, awful. And then your taste buds get acclimated to it. And then it's delicious. Oh, it's like having a cup of coffee. I love it. 37 at this point. Trust me, I tried. There was one that I could get down. It was a super fruity one. I'll stick to rum. Is the audio desync? Oh. Mm. Beer at the end of the day, spicy. Oh, I'm with you on that one, pal. I found you from cities, but excited to watch today and learn some science. Bips, this one's for you. Hey, listen. If my clock is broken and it stops at 5 p.m., it means it's 5 p.m. all the time. All right? It's not 5 p.m. somewhere. It's 5 p.m. where the clock is broken at 5 p.m. I learned that from an, from an Irishman, believe it or not. There's an Irish guy that I used to hang out with, and I'm not talking like, hey, kiss me, I'm Irish. No, it's like, oh, talks like this the entire time. I used to hang out with him. I used to hang out with him all the time. And he moved away. He moved back to Ireland, right? And he had a broken clock in his living room. That was at 5 o'clock. It's, it's like, oh, it's 5 o'clock. Time to drink. I'm like you. I like you. Oh, look. It's the guy that commits vehicular cone slaughter. The frick, S. No, I heard that. He moved. He moved away. All right. Audio sync is behind. All right, hold on. Sometimes I got to restart OBS out here. Ready? I need gopher chucks. Oh damn, did Labs camera see that? Yep. What is the plan today, mechanical stream? I gotta do this. We gotta work on the door. Way behind. Well, I will restart. All right, give me one second, I'll be right back. It's like my wife and I tell her a joke. Or <laughs> give her simple <laughs> All right, all right, let's roll. Let's roll. How's the temp in the garage? It's a little cold, but not bad. All right, be right back. I want you to prevent forest fires. Only you can take a bite out of crime. McGruff the crime bear dog. In my defense, someone moved that comb in front of your jeet. Oh, all right. And we aren't watching an old kung fu movie anymore. You know what, that's a shame. It's just a shame. All right. Scruff McGruff. He's yeah. He's related to Dirk McGurk or something.
All right, time to work. Call me. <laughs> Call me. All right, let's roll. Seriously, though, that that's not it belongs in the recycle. I did get it in the bed, though. That's what I was aiming for. That's what I was aiming for. Frick, man. Yo, what up, Joker? How you doing? All right. So, hey, look. This didn't come out too bad. It's all right. Not bad. I don't know what I'm going to do about the door handle. I don't know how to take that thing apart, but... We could fix it. I mean, I decided that this is turning into a big project, and uh, yeah, Ooh. yeah, we might uh, might have to turn this into a little bit of a project. This, but the reason this is only turning into a project is because this door needed to be repainted anyway. I hope for the rest of these panels here, we can get it back to mint. Mint. All right, hold on. Hang on. Look. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta move the chat onto the big screen. Okay. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Do Chinese space launch site have any rules? Uh, damn, that's close. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll have rules until uh, Until someone gets hurt, and then they'll cover it up and probably not have rules anymore. Oh, damn, savage. EJ woke up today and chose Violencia. All right, so we're working on the main panel of the door here. This is actually a pretty even coat. It's not bad. There's still some high spots. We're going to have to block this today. So here's the thing about painting. You have to be super patient. You have to be anal retentive, and it takes a crazy amount of time for not a lot of work, or for not a lot of payout. Actually, well, the paint being nice is a pretty good payout, but uh, yeah, it sounds like a perfect job for this stream. <laughs> you thought I was going in a different direction with that. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, we sanded this down, um, and it's got to be to 800. We got to sand it back down with 800 grit. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, there is a little bit of runs from yesterday from where I ran the paint. That's not ideal, but, uh, yeah, let's get out some 800 grid in a block and start just wearing away at some, some high spots here. So I'm going to do a weird thing. I'm going to go get some black paint and we're going to, we're going to spray over this, just dust it with some black paint so we can see where the high and low spots are. The whole point of this Guys, why am I obsessed with highs and lows? So I just said highs and lows and some people went, oh, 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 what? No, no, I'm talking about high and low points in the paint. Um, why, am I, why am I about this? Well, if you have runs in the paint like that, you have a run, you have a high spot, you have a dent in the metal, it's gonna show. It will show, it will show through absolutely. It'll, like, you'll sand it over and you'll be like, oh, that's not a big deal. No, 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 people will see it. Uh, and it's not like that. It's not like even, oh, you know, I'll just, it'll be fine. You know, only I'll, only I'll know about it. No, 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 you'll see it. You'll see it. It'll look like someone whacked, has whacked the door with a hammer. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get everything on this nice and even. And that's really, really difficult to do because I'm blending to old paint. See how there's white paint over there? There's white paint down here. There's a little bit of white paint up there. I'm trying to blend it to make it look right. So I chose to go on an accent line right here. I'm gonna use the accent line in the door and we're gonna to blend to that. 
we're going to try to blend it over the accent line so it's not as noticeable. At the worst, worst case scenario, it'll look like two-tone paint, but two-tone white paint. Whatever. All right, so let me get my mask on and everything, and we'll go from there. Fruit snack? Fruit snack! Fruit snack! It's going to be painted white. Yeah, I should probably, should probably paint over that, too. Just one more layer, bro. Please, bro. Please, bro. Just one more block, bro. It'll be fine, bro. Please. Um, all right. So I'm going to take some dark sandable primer, right? Got to shake it. No, it doesn't work like that. No, stop. Stop it. What's the hole in the door? Key. All right, here we go. All right, sweet. So we're going to back off really far with this, right? And just... Give it a little dust like that. Little dusting, right? That's gonna help us with the high points. Wow, that looks terrible. Sweet. It's okay, it's gonna get sanded off anyway. You can't see it as well as I can on the camera, but yeah, that should be good. I did get a lot down here, but that's okay. We can, we'll buff it off, it's not a big deal. All right. Hang on. I have to clean the uh, clean the nozzle. Always clean the nozzle. Keep your nozzles clean, boys. All right, we're not savages around here. All right. What do you use to clean the nozzle? Just a rag. If you really want to get at it right, you can use acetone, but. All right, so this will all flash dry against the primer. And uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll sand it down. Basically got to sand all that off. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And we got to let it dry for a second. So we are literally watching paint dry. <laughs> Hey, I said it first. All right. It's almost dry. You can smell it. All right, hang on. I got to take off my Artemis hat. I don't want to mess this hat up. Patriots one? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So. I'm going to do the opposite of what the Patriots do and actually do my job for a change. <laughs> Would using a torch help? No. Nah, nah, just let it go for a second. Here, we'll, we'll switch over here for a second. Ready? Here. <laughs> no? You want to do that?
<laughs> it was good, right? It was right. Yeah. We got to wait for the paint to dry. <laughs> <laughs> Too much time on my hands. <laughs> hey, passing. Nice going. As you know, I'll always be here for a classic watching paint dry stream. Is there anything you're not awesome at? No, I suck at the guitar, dude. I'm <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Do you heat your shop? Dude, I heat my shop with my computer, my, with my streaming rig when we're playing cities. Uh, I don't have like an actual heater hooked up right now. Um, I have a York 100,000 BTU heater over there and I gotta get on that. Sorry, procrastinating by painting my truck instead. I mean, w wouldn't you do the same thing? It is a little cold in here. It's a little cold to paint, but we're using rattle cans. It should be okay. Any rage songs? Guitar is in tune for rage, dude. Surely a little thunderstruck. I screwed up. <laughs> we got to change the tuning. Hold on. Or not the tuning. I got to change the... Should be done in a second. Should be back now. How many subs to convert your, convert your guitar to the flame one from Mad Max? No, not this one. song in any band or song in particular that made you want to start playing the guitar <sighs> um, Keith Moon wanted me to play the drums or not wanted me to play the drums I was inspired by Keith Moon to play the drums and John Bonham so I started playing the drums and then I just kind of started learning everything else I can play bass and guitar badly but I can drum pretty good at it but I don't have all my stupid trucks are taking up the space in here for a drum set. How much good did this guitar cost? Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago.
Eh, uh, I'm uh, no, not not that good. No, actually, Adonon, you know, you you'll you'll get this, dude, because you got the check mark, right? So you know what really started me getting playing the guitar? Um, the DMCA scare on Twitch that happened a long time ago and still kind of persists to this day, right? You, you got to be careful about what music you can play or else it's going to mute the VOD, right? Now, some people have, you know, some people have chosen like to do the different tracks and have the music play over different tracks so it doesn't play in the VOD, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, that's cool. I didn't want to do that. So I, that's when I really started. It was like, I don't know, maybe 2019, 2018, 2019, something like that where I would play the guitar for five minutes, five to 10 minutes at the beginning of every stream. And oh man, was I bad. I'm still bad, but yeah. Uh, put a drum set in the drug bed, nice. Yeah, <laughs> it would be like that music video. I got a little change in my pocket going jing-a-ling-a-ling. -a Won't you call me on the telephone, baby? Give me a ring. Oh, screwed that up. I forget how to play that. <laughs> yeah he came to you in a dream that's right with a naked indian man no that was jim morrison <laughs> so yeah the dmca scare like i decided to play the guitar a little bit at the beginning of every stream right and i kind of stopped doing it on stream i don't know like 2022 but i still play i play every day this is what i would be doing guys if i wasn't didn't have the stream on I'd be working on the truck and just jamming. All right, paint's dry, let's roll. Why don't you call me on the telephone, baby? Give me a ring. Each time we talk. I get the same old thing. I get the honky donkey see until I get a wedding ring. <laughs> my honey, my baby, don't put your love upon the shelf. She said, don't give me no lies and keep your hands to yourself. All right. Yeah, see, now the music is, the music made the paint dry faster. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to get, ugh. This 800 is shot, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get more. Now I got Georgia satellite stuck in my head. This is kind of your fault, chat. It's kind of your fault. Just saying. Now, oh, baby, 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 watch you gotta trip me so bad. Anyway, your guitar works much better than your singing. Oh, thanks, thanks. I I hooked it up myself. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Ready? I got to put on the mask. Hold on. Probably should have done this like at the beginning of the stream, like putting the, uh, putting that stuff together, but hey, it's all right. Let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah, paint's still a little wet. Actually, <laughs> this is pretty even, dudes. <laughs> It's actually pretty straight. <laughs> yeah, see how no crap is getting in the sandpaper this time? Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, you're starting to see high spots. The stupid goggles fogged up. The stupid safety glasses. Get off the, get off the screen. All right, there we go. Actually pretty good, dude. But we are starting to see some high spots. There's a lot over here. It really kind of came through. This actually came in not bad, dude. Not bad at all. see I can't see nothing stupid breathing I like how this just turned into just do the full door. All right, check this out. Can you see that right here? There's your high spot. See this? All this crap would show up. All the high spots, look at them. It, it looks like tiger stripes up in here. Can you guys see that? Oh yes, you can. All this crap. See it all? That would have shown up if we just painted that. See what I'm talking about? This, this garbage right there, that garbage, all this, look at all of them. If you roll the top of the mask, it stops the air from rolling up to your glasses better. Nice. Yeah, KG, there's primer on it, and I dusted it with, with black primer so I could see. That's a trick to do if you guys are ever doing body work. That's a trick you can do. Dust it with primer of a, a different color, right? Now look. Look at all that. See those spots right there? No good. That would have shown up. It would have absolutely shown up in the paint. Now, once again, this doesn't have to be, this isn't a million dollar job, you know, but that absolutely, that would have been, it would have looked like, like Arctic camo up in here. So that's no good. I might need to go a little bit more, but this, oh, oh no. Yeah, we got to go. We got to go more. Yeah, you can absolutely feel those. There's, there's that dent. You can kind of see it right here. There's a dent in the door, very slight. Very slight roll in the metal. That might just be from the factory. But other than that, this is not looking bad. Looks pretty damn good, actually. Very smooth. There's the dent right there. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta do it a little more over here. Down here though, not bad. Right here, very bad. There's a lot of high spots right there. The bottom of the door though, and up here, quite good. You can, there's basically a bunch of high spots where the freaking, um, well, it's where, it's where the sign was. Like you can tell the corner of the sign was like right here. And that's where all your high spots are. But we have gotten a good deal of them out. Yeah, we gotta go a little bit more. But yeah, see, you can, you can clearly see it. It looks like tiger stripes up in there. That's bad. Yeah, where people lean against the door. 
Hey, Turbo. Yeah, working on the track. Yep, yep. Where the paint is heavy is a low spot. Yep. Mm -hmm. And where it's, you see the spots? See, it looks like, it looks like, uh, I mean, I don't know, it looks like camo almost. Yeah, that's no good. We basically got to get this sanded down so it's all even. It's going to take a second, but yeah, you can, you guys can, you guys can see that really well, especially like right there. See that? That's what I'm talking about. This stuff, no good. All right, let's go again. We gotta just keep going. Yeah, we ended up going all the way to the damn door. Here is where it needed the most, up in here. I'm gonna press a little bit harder. Oh yeah, you guys should really see that coming through now. Ooh, that would have looked like poop. You may run like haze, but you play like snot. Yep, sanding and drying. This is this is blocking. This is what it does. You just gotta keep doing it. Even with the primer and block sanding, this starting to see some shine on the coat. Even with the primer, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, see that? That should be really apparent now. Look at this. Freaking tiger stripes, dude. No good. Tiger stripes. How cold is it in your garage? Um. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's, I don't know. I'd say probably 60 in here. The garage is insulated, so. Hand sanding, where's your orbital? You have to hand sand with 800 grit, man. We could DA this, but I don't know if they make pads for I don't know if they make pads for 800. If, I don't know if they make 800 grit sandpaper for an orbital.
can still feel the dent right there, but that's okay. There's a, right there, there's a high spot. Let me take these off. Okay, so this isn't bad. Right there, there's a high spot. Oh yeah, I can see that dent, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the glare off the paint. You can, now that this is a little bit shinier, you can still see it, but I don't know. The, the right way to do this would be to sand this to bare metal and bondo it, but I don't feel like doing that. You'd have to get some fiberglass filler to fill in that little thing. But yeah, it looks like, that looks like a door ding from opening your, from somebody opening up their door into the truck. Cause it's, it's down to here. Other than that though, this is looking pretty good. It's not bad. It's hard to distinguish dings from uh, like dings in the door from high spots in the paint, especially when you get out here where the door would be hitting things. Like see, there's some dents right there and those are gonna show through, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Yeah, there's another right there. Let's say we're actually not too bad here. This is pretty good. Pretty good, man. Okay. We might, 800 might be, oh, that's ripply. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, we might need to go a little bit more. I'm wondering if I actually have my, my blocker around. Body work, oh man, I always hated this, yeah. And I got a ton of high spots, you can see them. You can actually, the camera's actually showing them because I have the lighting right. See all that crap in there? It's white, it's gonna be white. Got the keys on the hip and everything. This is just the keys to the garage and stuff, dude. Give me one second, I, my phone alarm is going off. This is the, I left this alarm on. That's my alarm to get ready to start streaming. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> White does hide a lot of imperfections. Yeah, yeah, it does. So the reason why I'm doing this part on the door menu, let me bring you up to speed. Uh, there was a, this is an old tradesman's truck. So there was an adhesive sign here and me being impatient uh, with a heat gun, took some of the paint off with it. Didn't, I didn't heat it right. I took some of the, uh, some of the actual paint job off. So gotta go through and redo it, which kind of blows, but it is what it is dude that's definitely getting there so like I'm not just stroking the furry wall here all right I'm looking I'm looking down down the thing and looking for dents dents and high spots it's actually okay like I said there's a door ding right here it goes from about here to about here that would we would bond to it but I think the white, the white paint should be good. There's still the runs, the runs from the primer. I, I had the primer run on me a little bit on the accent line, so that kind of sucks, but I got to get that off. That absolutely will show. So we got to kind of go in here and give it a little elbow grease. Uh, 
tiny bit of spackle. I don't have any Bondo here, guys. The Bondo that I do have is super old and it's probably long hardened. Uh, I blew through to bare metal right there. That's no good. Who is that subbing? Hey, Eisenhower, 44 months. I don't know if I have any spackle. I'd have to go look. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I blew through the primer right there. You guys can see that, I'm pretty sure. on the block come on now I should go get my like actual sanding block <laughs> give me one second I'll be right back I should have it around here somewhere. Oh, yes. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, here's the good stuff. I don't know if my Actually it might be that might be a little too long. Bondo, it's what trucks crave. Excited to watch paint dry while working on the side. All right. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. This might be a little too long. So Minion, this is a California truck. I'm in Massachusetts, dude. This is a California vehicle. It's uh, it's pretty nice. There's no rust on it. And this truck is kind of, uh, yeah, that, that might work. Just holding the paper on one side. This truck is kind of, I'm kind of making sure that, this isn't like routine maintenance. I'm trying to make it nice. Oh yeah, that's really bringing out. Who knew the right tool for the job did it did it right? So yeah, I'm not. I'm actually trying to make this look a little bit nice because this truck. I have some history with this thing, but once upon a time it was a tradesman's truck. But I'm trying to. I don't know, 20 foot paint job, dude. You know what I mean? Looks awesome from 20 feet, but you get up close and you're like. Ugh. I guess I'm going all the way to the door. Right there. There's a high spot in the paint. That's not just the dent. You can actually start to see it. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that there's a clear, distinct, like, change in color right here. See that? You're in Maine, four hours from you. Yeah, yeah, this is a California truck. There's no rust, dude, here. Like, this is over the, uh, over the rear wheels. Look at the lower left camera. No, no Bondo, nothing. Cab corners, all metal. No rust. 
I described my face like that too. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Tara, what's up, man? Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not, believe it or not, and I kind of feel like an idiot with like, oh yeah, it's a 97 F-250. I don't, it never seen snow. Like, it is a work truck, but I don't drive this thing on the roads in the winter because it's too nice. I, uh, you know, like I have other vehicles, so. We have other vehicles. I have a real unfortunate car cane addiction. This is actually pretty good, man. I think we might mask off. Mask this thing off and friggin' go. I'm gonna, we'll mask off, like we'll actually do the masking right. I'm gonna, I should probably get that up there. All right, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's get the tape out. What are you doing exactly? Just body work? How are the internals on the 97? How old, how's the engine and transmission? Oh, uh, fine. Yeah, truck runs fine. It's got a five speed in it, dude. It's a cool truck. Everything is good. I mean, about as good as it'll be for a motor and transmission with 197,000, or not 197. Reverse that, 179,000 miles on it. It's fine, yeah. Hopefully it's been converted to run on propane, the Cadillac of gases. <laughs> you just doing this for fun? Well, Turbo, actually, okay, so there's a little bit of a story behind this truck. I bought this truck from a company called Hoonigan. I don't know if you guys ever seen Ken Block like sliding car around corners and stuff. They post videos on YouTube, the Jim Connor videos, those guys. I bought them from them. They were streaming on Twitch for a long time. They don't do it much anymore, except for a couple of, couple of dudes who I'm still in touch with. But they were streaming on Twitch and I raided them a couple of times and we, start, we struck up a conversation and they were getting rid of old inventory. So this is a Hoonigan truck. Here, take a look, see? The logo's upside down, but Oh Lord, fix or repair daily. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go. This is a friggin' fix or repair. Yeah, try this one on for size. First on race day. So, I bought this from them. Hoonigan's headquarters is in Compton, California. Compton, California. So in, in October of 2021, me and my girlfriend at the time uh, flew out there right? I, I slapped this truck together in a parking lot. It was not, it was not this good. Uh, <laughs> I actually, it was, it was pretty rough. It had been, the, it, it had the snot beaten out of it by, by Hoonigan because it was on their YouTube channel. If you, ever, if you go like search YouTube and type scumbag labs and look at the truck that they do, the, the, the truck that's on there, that's this truck. It's the same truck. So I bought it from them and it was pretty dilapidated to say the least. <laughs> uh, it had no rear cross member in it. They cut that out for do it for some stunts on their YouTube channel, right? Um, not heard that one. That's good. <laughs> no, it's been. So the thing was pretty rough, but the motor and transmission were fine. They never screwed with anything here forward. So like the interior was shot, completely shot because Cal like California cars have no rust, right? But the, the sun roasts the interior. Interior was toast. I had to replace pretty much everything in there. Dash pad, dashboard, all the AC vents were shot. Like everything was toast, everything. Um, so yeah, the ignition barrel was toast because if anybody knows these old trucks, the ignition barrel breaks and then you can start it with a screwdriver. The ignition box was, uh, so the ignition switch was sitting on the, the floorboards when I got it uh, and they just switched the ignition switch back and forth to start the truck. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty rough. But me and two viewers on the stream uh, threw it together and got it pretty much good enough to drive to Boston. And that's what I did. 
and it pretty much made it all the way there except for one snafu with the rear end causing a wheel to fall off going down the highway. Yep, that sucked. That wasn't fun. Uh, they welded the rear end and the rear end decided to unweld itself driving through Oklahoma. Yep. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, that ended up with a tire coming off. Um, so, you know, I, I had a shop in Oklahoma, shop on 27 in Venita, Oklahoma. They push new lug, they press new lugs into the, into it. And then I ran the truck with just front brakes from Oklahoma through Missouri, uh, through Missouri. Uh, so from, Ogl from Venita, Oklahoma to Joplin, Missouri to St. Louis, uh, clear across all of pretty much Ohio or all, you know, Indiana, Indiana too. I stopped at IMS, so we were definitely in Indiana. Then drove up through Fort Wayne, through Ohio to Detroit, where Brimo's parents were, and they helped me fix. They helped me fix the rest of it. Helped me put the rear brakes back in. Got a new backing plate. Turns out there's a lot of cars in Detroit, cars and trucks, a lot of junkyards, a lot of American, a lot of parts for American cars around there. I don't know why. That's weird. So uh, yeah, drove it all the way back and fi basically fixed the thing along the way. And then when I got here, I started rebuilding the, the interior and everything. Um, but I said girlfriend at the time. When we were driving before, we, before, before the wheel came off, uh, we drove this to the Grand Canyon, to Mather Point, southern part of the Grand Canyon. And I proposed to my wife uh, overlooking Mather Point when the sun was going down, so the canyon was illuminated. So, um, yeah, proposed, I proposed to Remo at the Grand Canyon with this truck right next to me. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of didn't push her. That's true love. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got a fiance and a truck out of it. So I got a truck out of it. You know, that's good. Um, so, yeah, uh, once we got everything fixed in Detroit, dude, from Detroit to Massachusetts, it was fine. It's cool because I ended, I ended route, and I, here's the thing, Turbo Fire, I streamed the whole thing. We had a dash, a dash cam and a streaming rig hooked up the entire time. I streamed all of it. I didn't stream the proposal, though. I shut the camera off for that. Um, yeah, it was awesome, dude. It, it freaking made it. No problems from the motor and transmission. Nothing. No problems. It took it like a champ except for the freaking wheel. If that damn freaking wheel didn't come off, it would have been fine. Anyway. Yeah, we had good weather the whole trip. Yep, yep. Can you stream this on Sunday so I have something more entertaining than the Patriots to watch? Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... It made it all the way back, and I ended the trip at the USS Constitution. When I started streaming it in California, I started at the USS Iowa, which is a battleship museum in Long Beach, next to Compton, right? And I drove this thing clear across the entire country. I drove it, actually, we did a shakedown cruise going up to Lompoc. So this thing's been up by the launch pads at Vandenberg, and drove this thing clear across from southwest to northeast. It was probably like a 4,000-mile trip, took it like a champion. Still takes it like a champion. The thing just, just keeps going. So I kind of nicknamed the truck Tough Enough because it's tough enough. Are you tough enough? Are you tough enough? Could have ended it at the Massachusetts. Well, we drove right by it. <laughs> Actually, we didn't drive by it. We had drove in on 90 coming from Detroit. So how many miles were on it? 179,000. Filthy old reliable daily. So yeah, this truck is a tank, man. It just, it doesn't quit. It just keeps going. It's a freaking tank. And then I got married in that truck over there. So we, no, you can't get rid of the trucks. They're sentimental. Yeah, I know, honey. I know. You know. <laughs> so yeah. Is it undercoated? No, it's not goth. This truck is not winterized at all. That's why I don't drive it in the snow. It stays in my driveway. 
in the winter time. It's a little rusty from the humidity, but it's just surface. It's not rot. Everything is good. Crazy. Just watch the plywood burnout video. Yeah. Yeah, me and, a, me and two, two viewers from the stream threw this together in a parking lot and it was good enough to get across the entire country. So this thing is a tank, man. I love this truck. And I've been slowly fixing everything since. Dude, I had to do some, I had to do some, it's a 97. 97 craze. This is a 97 F-250. Uh, it's got 179,000 miles on it. It's got a 5.8 with a five speed in it. It's a manual. That's why it's cool. If it was automatic, I really wouldn't care as much. But this truck has, has a manual in it. Here, I'll show you. Here, check it out. It's a freaking killer truck, dude. I love this thing. But here, I'll show you. We've been doing some work. We're doing work down here. I'm trying to, trying to get the door all kind of straightened out. We actually should probably hit that with primer. But yeah, see, check it out. Look, look at this. I did all this, fixed all this. The bearings in this were, were going away, so I, I took the steering column apart, fixed that. But look. Hell yeah. I got new AC vents in a junkyard, new dash pad. I got new uh, visors for it. The headliner is kind of whatever. It's fine. We don't, we, don't, we don't worry about that. It needs new rear glass. This is all. The seals are shot. But see, I did this too. I did the pillar. Uh, and I already did all this up here. The sun actually roasted that paint. So I, I painted the sills and now painting the door too. And then the red is spray paint, but with some acetone and some elbow grease, you can get it off. See, there's three coats of freaking spray paint on there, black, blue, and red. But like I said, that's probably what I'll do. The reason why I had to repaint the door is because I couldn't get all of that crap off because there was, an, it, there was a sign that was painted over on top of, like underneath the spray paint because this was a tradesman's truck before Hoonigan got it. So, yeah. Yeah, look, you can really see those high spots there. Look. There. Look at it. I'll show you what I've been seeing. See the dent? It's a glare in the reflection right there. See what I'm talking about? Look at the reflection off my stove. Right there. A little bit of a ding, but other than that, it's not bad. I do this all day and now I'm watching my life is sad. <laughs> well, dude, I ain't a pain and body guy, but uh, yeah, any tips would be appreciated. How much would it cost to professionally undercoat the whole thing? Oh, I don't know. I'd probably do it myself. No, Vasa, you'd have to take the whole damn thing apart if we wanted to do it right. I don't know, frame off resto for this thing, probably 30, 40 grand easily. I mean, there's not a lot of body work. It's just taking things apart, painting it, putting it back together. That's a lot of work. Look, I mean, look at this. This is just one patch on the door. You've used 3M paint stripper for a drill works great. Huh? All right. Fifteen hundred to just apply it, Cluties, but you'd have to if you wanted to do it right, you'd have to take everything apart. So if we were gonna do this, Vasi, if I was gonna do it right, I'd have the, the chassis, all the suspension, and the wheels. Um, well maybe not the wheels, but I'd have the chassis, all the chassis and all the suspension components, I'd have it powder coated. Powder coated will do it right. The powder coating will not, yeah, that's frick undercoating. Powder coating will do it right. And then you undercoat the bottom of the chat, uh, bottom of the, uh, the body panels and stuff. Doing, doing that and doing it right, you'd have to take the whole thing apart. The truck would have to be down to the last bolt. And that takes time. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of money if you're gonna have somebody else doing it. What paint are you going to use? Um, it's a rattle can special, man. I have the Duplicolor. I don't, dude, I, I have a gun, but I don't really have enough room right now because there's two trucks in the shop. <laughs> I'm not parking the 59 outside, no way. So um, yeah, it's a rattle can special, but you know, if you sand it and you do it right, it'll come out okay.
You make me cry. Yeah. What are you going to do? Can't please everybody. All right. We got to get back to this. Uh, so let's, um, let's start masking off. I'm going to mask off anything north of the accent line here. Um, and probably hit this spot with primer. Uh, I worked so hard to get this stupid freaking clear coat fixed. But I suppose I could mask here and then go that way. I might do it. Yeah. All right. Let's get the tape. I'll, we're going to do this right because I, I oversprayed up onto the mirror and stuff uh, when I did this yesterday. So I blew through the primer right there. The primer was super thin on the accent line. So I'm probably going to, um, I don't know, give it a, yeah, we should probably give it another coat. Got to be careful with this. You got to take your time. Give me one sec. Okay, I'm gonna have to go over that again. I need more tape. So when does the four post get installed? Uh, uh money, money. Money. If you tape it just over the line and then fold the tape back so the sticky side is facing you, you won't have a hard line. Ooh. All right, so here, well, I'll put that one right there. Okay. Uh, I might have to. Minion, I might have to pull this. Hey, God, gifted five. Woody, what's going on? I might have to go at this again because so overlap, overlap the accent line a little bit, right? Is that what we're is that what we're saying? Overlap the accent line and then fold it back to the accent line so the sticky side's facing. I can do that. Yeah, sure, man. That's a good idea. Never thought of that. Thank you. Yeah, blend. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that was blend. Sorry. I'm... Chat's behind me, so if you see me, like, looking over there. Okay. All right, so I'll do this, I'll do this again with, with some overlap here. And God, thanks for the five, Batman. I appreciate it. Oh, dude, that's... That's freaking cool, man. Yeah, I see what I see. I don't 
don't know what we're going to do around the damn door jam, dude. But we'll find out. The door jam still has crappy paint on it, but it's all right. I'm just trying to make sure this line is straight. Yeah, I see. I see how that's gonna make a make the line that you're talking about make a, a soft fade. That's actually super useful, dude. Thanks. Appreciate it. Getting in around the door jam there is tough. Should just take the stupid handle out. Being a smidge, smidge lazy on my part. There we go. Cool. All right. So you don't have to tape off like the whole damn thing. And I know body people that are here look, looking at this. Yeah, no, like I know you guys know this, but I have, I have some mask paper. So we'll, we'll get at that in a moment. I just tape off close and then we can mask the rest. We can mask the rest off. That's the English that I'm trying to say. I like that flipping back the edge, dude. That's cool. Thank you. That's freaking sweet advice. May I post an imager to the item I was talking about? Yeah, sure, man. Uh, here, let me. Uh, there you go. Yeah, we're playing flyout. I want to I want to I want to do flyout. Guys. Yeah. And have good ventilation to pull the overspray away. Ah, paint and rust stripper. Okay. Okay, I got you. Large area paint and rust stripper. Oh yeah, the the rust yeah, 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 minion, I got you. I might have one of those around, dude. I think actually all I have is Scotch Bright over here. Scotch Bright and some acetone might do it right, but I'm worried about messing up that clear coat, you know, because the spray paint, the clear coat's under there. It's under this. You can see it. It's right there. The original paint. You just got to be careful. And I got to sit there with a freaking rag all day and just do this until it comes off. You want to see how I play fly, fly out Kitta? Yeah, all right. What I showed will strip it to bare metal. Yeah. Oh, Nova gifted you a sub. Nice. Thanks, Nova. I'm not trying to get to bare metal here, dude. I'm trying to get at the clear coat that's underneath this, but yeah. All right. Uh, where's the uh, paper? There we go. Uh, how am I going to get at this? <laughs> There's probably a better way to do this. <laughs> Use your head, chat. Remember.
Come on, you. <laughs> Freaking gravity, man. That's why I like space flight. There's space flight so much. Freaking gravity, you don't have to worry about it. Well, you do, but you know what I'm trying to say. Too much time on my I don't really care if I get it on the mirror. I'm really just worried about the paint. So I'm not too, not too upset if the mirror gets all screwed up. I have replacements. Are you trying to say you wish Chad could help you holding the tape? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what did you think I was saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, man. All right, man. Sorry. All right. So this is all just paper to get in the way so the paint doesn't spray onto the paint that I do want. This stuff takes time and you're fighting against gravity unless you have a body shop. <laughs> More freaking tape, dog. At this point, you could just use the masking tape. Yeah. Almost got this all figured out. I got it all figured out, man. All right. I'm back. There's still some nice clear over here that I probably should save so we don't have to paint this part. But I don't know, man. Blending it and stuff is going to be a pain in the butt. And yeah, I kind of kind of ended up going all the way to the door here. <laughs> you know what? Let's not be lazy for a change. Yeah, newspapers work too, but I'm... I uh, don't get the paper. Oh wait, you know what? I have some coupon stuff that might might work. But you know what? That's all the way over there. It's all the way in the house. I'm in a barn behind my house, so. <laughs> yeah, fold that sucker back. I'm gonna try to see if I can mask the front of the door, because holy crap! Hey, Woody. Thanks, man. See, this up here was freaking Woody with the five pack, man. Thank you. This part up here was, uh, This was just sun damage that I found underneath when I took the spray paint off. That's the trouble with doing this freaking, doing it right. It takes a lot of time. T 
Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Now I know I put some primer down there, but I'll I'll get that off. We'll get it off with the uh, with some acetone later. I just want the center, and then some of the accent line on this door. What the hell? Did you ever have a professional job? No, no, no. Self-taught. I just... Actually, dude, you know what the best advice... And I did get this from a body guy, from a guy that I know, um, who doesn't do body work anymore, but... Um, the best advice is to just take your time. Go slow. Like, intentionally go slow. This stuff, you gotta be patient. It's not, it's not instant gratification. And I was brought up in a world with instant gratification and I try to run away from that as hard as I can nowadays. Hey Pop, thanks for the 49, man. Why not take the door off and spray it? <sighs> Minion, it's because I'm being lazy. <laughs> I have no other reason. It's because I'm being lazy. This turned into a project, man. I was just trying to get the paint off, off the spray paint off the door, and then I couldn't get the sign off, and then I half-assed it by, with the heat gun and pulled some of the paint off down to bare metal. So. I decided to just paint this door section and that turned into the whole freaking door and now you're like, ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> but that's how it happens, right? That's what happens. This is this, is, this is this job. I know, I've known, I've known paint and body guys. This is how this happens. Turns into a whole freaking project. And that's fine, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but yeah. The reason why I'm not spraying it, it's because I'm lazy. I'm, I choose one, I choose to be lazy about one thing. And that's that's the thing. But that might be the thing that comes and kills me, you know. I'm new to the channel. Do you do any flight sim stuff? I've played flight sim before, dude. But Joker, my big thing is Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program. That's what I play the most. I build planes on there and stuff, and spaceships. But yeah, when flight sim came out, we did go on a pretty hefty flight simulator binge. Just got to mask off around here, and then we're good. Hey, if it's making you happy, that's all that matters, but you'll paint this area and notice the other area isn't matching in paint color. Oh, you know me too well, dude. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, you're, you're absolutely 100% friggin' right. I'm going to look at it and be like, the rest of this sucks. I want to paint the whole damn thing. And then I'll, I'll end up sanding off this work and paint. Yeah, no, it, I, I know, I know. That's how it freaking rolls, man. That's, that's, that's cars. Oh, you know, if I fix this, oh, I could fix this. And if I fix that, oh yeah, no, no, I gotta fix that. I can't, I can't not, dude, <laughs> been there. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> And then that'll turn into a frame off resto, which frankly this truck deserves to be honest, after you heard my story. I want, I want this truck to be immaculate. <sighs> yeah, it's like that scene in Gone in 60 Seconds. Over there you have a 51 Fiat Dignali, and here you have an 84 Eldorado. Let me tell you, who pays to restore an 84 Eldorado? I think it's got, uh, somewhat of a sentimental attachment to it. I went through my 92 pre Prelude and boy was that fun. Oh, Prelude, nice dude. Did the 92 Prelude have the H22 in it?
Yeah, H yeah, H22, man. Hell yeah, H22. K-Series kind of killed it, but also H22, you know what I mean? K-Series kind of made the H22 pretty damn irrelevant. You swapped in an, an H a JDM H22. Nice, dude. Nice. That's freaking sick. That's cool. Dude, I used to I used to mess with Hondas a lot, dude. My first car was a Honda. 91 Accord. 91 Accord with whatever the hell came in that. What is it? Like some D series or or something? A D freaking I don't even remember. And then I had a 02 Accord coupe with an F23A5 in it, which is yeah, single overhead cam VTEC. It's pretty good. And but I've always liked Ferds. I bought a Mustang after that. Came a Mustang, bro. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? No, I haven't driven into a crowd. All right, I know how to drive my car. <laughs> I haven't driven into a crowd yet. <laughs> no, that's not cool. <laughs> Don't do that. Nah, you know, like, I always say that I like American stuff because it's easy to work on. Hondas are easy to work on, especially the old stuff. Any Honda from, like, 1990 to, like, 2005, you have to be pretty stupid to not fix that, not be able to fix one of those things. It's very, very, they're very simple cars. I like it. Those are cool. That's why I like them. Especially like an H22, you could do, you could, it's not going to take much to make that thing go really, really fast. He has to ask T. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Hot hatches are fun, man. And I'm saying that as like a muscle car, bro. Hot hatches are fun. All right. All right. I'm just going to mask off a little bit of the door over, or a little bit of the fender over here. Hey, Cyborg with a 42 and Squish Jim with a 65er. Thank you very much. I'm going to mask off part of the, the clear coat that I saved over here. I do not want overspray on that thing. I've used up so much freaking tape, dude. Okay. All right. Let's get the tack cloth out. Find a clean spot of the tack. Do you guys reuse these? Actually, paint body dudes. I don't know too much about tacks. Like, I wouldn't, I would say you probably don't want to reuse this, but if I flip this thing over like that, you got a clean side. Bad trade overall. I love the Prelude, but that ST was a lot faster. Yeah, Ford makes really good hot hatches. Flip it over, it's fine, Hillness. How did the last truck stream end? I missed it. Did you drive it out? Yeah, Howells, the, the 59 runs and drives, dude. Now, this is the kind of paint drying content I, I strive for. Yeah, I still need to write till. Yeah, Mike, you ain't wrong. Tape is cheap. Paint mistakes are expensive. So what this is, is this tack cloth has some stick to it. And what it does is it pulls all the crap off the paint. All that sanding dust that we did from sanding this. It pulls it. Oh, this is super bumpy. Ah. Hillness, we might want to. We might want to still sand this. It is bumpy as hell. I don't know, man. But see, look at all the crap it picked up. No rubbing alcohol? No, Vasilovich, I don't. The tack cloth should be good. I mean, we could hit this with acetone if you want to, but it should be good. It's going to be bumpy, dudes. 
we should sand this more. But I was, you're a Chevy GM man. But the way Chevy went with their trucks, 2013 to 2018, the torque converter problems, you have a 2012 Silverado, they need 4,000 in repairs. Ugh. So I had to buy a new truck because Russ was a major factor on the frame, as usual, on the last four to five trucks. My first Tacoma 2011 frame min is in mint condition. Yeah. Chevy did go downhill. That's part of the reason why I don't like them. You want to talk old Chevy? Now we're talking. Now we're, that's something I'm on board with. Absolutely. friggin uh, You know, I'm talking like 350 Turbo 400. That Chevy. That Chevy is mint. Yeah, the, like, it's so simple to work on those cars. It's, it's a joke. It makes this look like freaking rocket science. Roy, you worked a decade in the automotive industry. I feel you. Those suck. Yep. I mean, Ford's okay nowadays. They're not bad, but most of the stuff is cheap. Everything is freaking cheap, which just... They nickel and dime the crap out of their own vehicles, and they, you know, oh, you know, save an extra couple bucks here and there, like... And it, it seems like they don't put the vehicles through good testing anymore either. You know, those torque converter problems, a robust testing regime, you would have found that. You would have found those problems easily. Yeah. All right. Let's get the primer out. <clears throat> What color are we painting the door? Purple? No. No, I'm just painting it white. I just masked everything off. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't, you, you dude, here, let me put it to you like this. You don't need to say in your opinion anymore. They really don't make them, they don't. Uh, my father-in-law works in the automotive industry too. The cars are designed to be put together fast on the assembly line. They are not designed to be worked on. That isn't some crazy freaking conspiracy. I see people throw this all around all the time. Like, oh, they make them harder to work on, so you got to take them to the dealership. No, no, you're overthinking it. They make them easy to put together. You put together more cars, more people buy cars. Simple as that. Does it fail after 100,000 miles? Sure. Well, that's mostly because... <sighs> that's mostly because of us. You know, people are like, oh, there's purposeful obsolescence. Purposeful... No, 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 no. No, it's because people get sick of their car and buy a new car because we're materialistic. That's the reason why they're made like trash. Well, not made like trash. I mean, it's still a pretty damn good feat to be able to throw something together like that and have it last that long, but that's the reason, dude. They're designed to be, they're designed to be put together faster because they know we're going to buy more cars. Screwed up, huh? That alone is bad for the environment when cars can be fixed. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, dude. Or people who can't won't buy a car, but it's made well because it'll cost a lot. Yep, yep. Fast fashion, but for cars instead of clothes. Something like that, dude. People are willing to sign a new lease rather than change the tires. Ask me how I know. Bingo. Royal, you're right. It ain't some crazy, th like, oh, well, they purposeful obsolescence. It's us. It's consumer habits. So fix your old frigging car. Oh, it's going to cost more money to fix it than to just buy it. Fix your damn car. Because this stuff lasts. It's all consumer behavior. Dude, thank you. That's I try to tell people this, and they get all mad at me. <laughs> Would you ever get a Tesla? Dude, I like Teslas. I think Teslas are really freaking cool cars. I think what Elon and what Tesla's doing is fantastic. I'm a pretty big SpaceX fanboy. Not so much a Tesla fanboy. I like rockets more than cars, but I do like Teslas a lot. I think they're pretty cool cars. Uh, the self-driving is really freaking neat. That technology is really cool. I don't know if I'd ever buy one. Their Tesla is probably about as far right to, like away from right to repair as you could possibly get. They do not want you touching your own car 
like an iPhone or something. Not really a fan of that. Maybe buy a Tesla as like a daily or something. That would be kind of cool, but yeah, no, no. You wouldn't turn down a Cybertruck though. I'd buy a Cybertruck. Yeah, 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 yeah. If someone was like, here, have one. Yeah, yeah, I'd buy that. That's cool. Cybertruck is cool. It's ugly as hell, but it's cool. I'm, I don't, the outside, look, this is a freaking square, okay? <laughs> Aesthetics is not too much of a big deal for me. It's a freaking square. <laughs> that one over there is a square with some rounded edges, right? So aesthetics in me is not like the biggest thing. I want what's under the hood. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a square. It's about as simple of a shape as you can make. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, chaos for real. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's hit this with some primer. I got to put the mask back on. Where the heck did I put it? Chat, where's my mask? You lost it. Where are the safety goggles? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Cybertruck is PS1 and 64 polys. Yep. But do all these squares make a circle? Oh, yeah. I'm always losing stuff. Yeah, that's just part and parcel, bro. All right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with primer, fellas. We're gonna prime more of it up. I have some bare metal here. We sh we we might be ready for base coat, but I blew through some of the primer up here. So, and then there's that bare metal. So. I'll just hit us with another coat. Let's just make sure we're spraying. Yep. All right. Ready? Got to keep moving. Never hold the thing in one spot. Don't hold it and go like, you got to keep moving. Never have your finger down when this thing is still and be about a foot away. And once again, just take your time. Taking your time is the best advice. I already said it, but that's the best advice I ever got from a paint and body guy. What the hell? Come on now. We're losing pressure. Not like this. Not like this. She still has plenty of paint in it. Ah, oh, she's spitting. Oh, uh, no. there we go. Crap got caught in the nozzle. Dude, I was about to say, whoever said get the gun out, you jinxed me, you son of a bitch. She's spraying good now, though. going to overspray onto the bed a little bit. 
I'll try to pull the can this way. Not bad. You might want to look at this. Dude, I'm, I'm, Nova, don't take this the wrong way. I'm kind of busy right now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy, dude. Give me a second, man, okay? All right, I think we're good. Let me clean the can. I found it's better to paint base coat than clear coat after. Yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you missed the spot? Ah, oh, crap. Um, I gotta clean the can. There's still some paint left in this thing, but uh, you don't want the tip the paint nozzle, just the tip, you don't want that to get jammed when you're in the middle of painting. It's going to spray, and that's no good. Oh, wow, you can really see that door ding in there now. Damn, dude. Damn. That's all right. It's okay. 20-footer. I see we're doing a Craigslist restoration. Yeah. From your angle, guys, this doesn't look too bad, but that door ding is there's a huge ripple in that door. I, I'm starting to think that might not be a that might it might be from the factory. <laughs> it is just a huge ripple in the paint right there. But that's okay. This this coat of primer went on real good. Really nice. No runs this time. There's still some high and low spots there that I see, but it's okay. And some crap got in the paint, but I'm painting in the damn garage. What do you want? Oh, I did miss a spot down there. Tessa, you weren't wrong. Just give it a quick, quick zapperino there. Yeah, there we go. I gotta clean the brush again. Not brush the nozzle. It's factory, that's right, yep. All right, guys, uh, this is a brand new OEM restoration door. I just lost the receipts, okay? I lost the receipts, I don't know. They might be at my mom's house, I, I don't know. Those chips at the edge of the door, yep. Yeah, they are. I might be able to, actually, That's that looks to be spray paint. There's some spray paint on the edge. I don't know, what do you think we should do? I'm just, once again, worried about overspray on this, so. Uh, all right, that worked. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Kick ass, man. It's a 97, it's to be expected. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, 1201, perfect. Perfect time. Um, excellent, dudes. So it's lunchtime. Uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up real quick. My hands are a little dirty. And uh, we're gonna go try fly out, okay? Uh, it's a plane building game. Yeah, my work starts at noon time. That's usually my start time. But uh, yeah, that's killer. That looks real good. Nice. Yeah, I could have used some filler. Yeah, Hillness. These are the dents that I pointed out to you. Some body filler and a hammer and dolly would probably do it. But like I said, it's good enough. Can you see them? Oh yeah, you can see those.
It's a truck. A truck without dents and scratches, in my opinion, is a waste of a truck. Based. Yep, yep. Yep, so there we go. Um, I'm not, I don't, we should probably block this and sand it again tomorrow. I think that's a good idea. I'll block it, sand it, and then we'll tack it again and we'll uh, clear it. Clear the damn thing, man. Came out good, dudes. That's not bad. It's really not bad compared to the nightmare that was there before. A mint truck, in your opinion, is a wasted truck. Dude, Minion, that's the reason why I have these trucks. I mean, let's be real. That's a cruiser over there. It doesn't work, but I do use that bed. I use the six-foot box on this thing. You just don't use it for much. Now, this thing, on the other hand, sheets of plywood, sheets of drywall, fit right in the bed. No problem. This is a work truck, and I do use it as a work truck, despite, despite me liking this truck a lot. I, it's used for work. These things get driven. I, I, I do errands in that truck, but this thing, I really only use this when I need to. If I need to go down, it, like the other day, I put gutters on the back of my garage, right? because there was no gutter back there. And I noticed that the water was dripping down and screwing up the, the concrete slab on the back of my garage, right? It started to crack, so I put a gutter in. It hasn't cracked since. There you go. I needed gutters. Gutters only come in like 12 feet. Guess what? Guess what? Diagonally fit right in the box, no problem. Whoop. Work truck, baby. I love this thing. This is a freaking tank of a vehicle. It's so damn useful. That's why I like it. It's a freaking truck use it it's not a, it's not a freaking ferrari when are we fitting out the 250 with a bed cap it's got a tonneau cover on it right now but yeah mm -hmm. <clears throat> i understand aqualux yes i don't paint every day dude it's not a big deal but actually you reminded me that i Need to open this fricker up. Oh, the sun's out. Yeah, no, I know. I, it, they, the garage is open enough. There, it's probably probably should have a respirator, but the mask will work fine. And yeah, I'm making sure not to inhale those goddamn paint fumes like I did the other day. But you know, the, on the other hand, it smells so good. You know, it smells like cotton candy, man. But yeah, I know, that's not good for you. There's a dev chat that just came out. Yep, yep, what's your daily driver? Stanko, it's a 2008 Mustang GT, five speed. Before you look at me, you go, that's your daily driver? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I don't, <laughs> where do I go? I don't commute. I work from home. I've been working from home for almost a decade, way before the pandemic. Why the frick wouldn't I buy that as a daily driver? So my wife has a my wife has a 2020 Fusion, 2.0 turbo all wheel drive because all wheel drive 2.0 turbo, that's the car we drive around the most. But in the summertime, I'll use the Stang. I, I daily drive the Stang all over the place. It's got 74,000 miles on it. 2008. It's a nice car. Do you think G wagon toughness is overrated? Uh, watch Whistling Diesel's videos about the G-Wagon. That should change your mind. So when do we watch paint dry? Oh, dude, we're doing it right now. See? I told you. Look, man, that, that's got some shine to it. It's got some freaking shine to it already. That's pretty sweet, man. Not a lot of prep work, though. It just takes freaking time. But she's got some shine to it. Not bad. For primer, that's pretty good. Actually, that, that man on the screen, that doesn't look too bad. Your 2000 Mustang has been the most reliable car you've ever owned. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, the Mustang is my Mustang, super reliable. I've never had a problem with that car. Only routine maintenance. 
Not that I think, but some say so. People don't drive G-Wagons like they, they need to. A G-Wagon is a truck, like this thing, Erudite. It's a truck. You, it should have the snot beaten out of it. Actually, that, that, that looks pretty good, man. It's not bad. If we block that, we block this with 800 tomorrow, it'll look good. They come here, they pin around, they no breathe. What nobody re ah yes, respirators. We got lots of that. Yeah, Andy, I, I see it. I see it over there. I should have bondoed it. We'll do it right. We'll do it right later. I'll do it right on another car that I care more. Well not care more about. This is a truck. You gotta have you gotta expect it to have dents. Minion is right. No skylines today? Eddie, I wanted to try a new game today, dude, if that's okay. Uh We'll continue with uh, Hand Mitten in, in East Rock tomorrow. Um, I want to try a new game called Fly Out, but who knows? It, you know, if I play Fly Out and it sucks, unlikely. But if I play it and it sucks, I'll switch to cities. Has this been pointed to you at you, at you yet? Tessa, is that the dev chat? Yeah, that's fine. Just curious. Right on. Yeah, Fly Out. Fly Out is a plane designing game, so you guys have been learning about roads for me for the past month. You're going to... You're going to learn about planes today, boy. You're going to learn about planes today. Discovery it's a chieftain erudite, but yeah. Yeah, I, I have, I've seen the video, but I haven't, uh, I haven't watched it yet. Hey, Vash. What's up, man? All right. So, are you guys enjoying watching paint dry? Oh, wow. Paint. Paint dry, yes. Paint dry, good. Water tastes good. <laughs> All right. Bro, this is as good as a Fortnite stream. Look at this. Audio sync check. I need gopher chucks. I remember, remember, I remember. Sorry. I see that you are trying to block me. I've chosen the large tub. My nipples look like milk duds. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of nuts. That'll be eight bucks, baby. You want fries with that? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, seriously, seriously. He just left with nuts. <laughs> it's worse? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, I'll be right back. Be right back a little bit longer. <laughs> Big goober fish. Oh. Good? Huh. All right.
It's time to computer. But, but first. <laughs> We need, we need startup music, right? Okay. I right, screwed that up. Screwed that up too. Screwed that up. I played this before and it was good, I swear. <clears throat> Wonderwall? the paint fumes. Watching for a year, never know you can play the guitar. Seek and destroy? I don't know how to play that. Just one more coat of paint, bro. Bro, I swear, just one more coat of paint, dog. <clears throat> Seek, oh, uh, no, I can play queen. Hold on, hold on. We need to switch this up a little bit. <clears throat> Here we go, ready? Screw that up. go <clears throat> it's like Freddie is there with you is it wow <laughs> I forget where the solo is it's somewhere up here Some are up there. Freddie's hiding behind the Ford. Purple Haze, the guitar is in tune for that. Nah. You'd have to you'd have to go down a half step to play like Hendrix. Not that I can play like Hendrix, but whatever. <laughs> Here, animal. Can you play You Really Got Me? Yeah, roundabout, I never stopped playing. I still practice every day. 
I just didn't do it on stream. <laughs> By the way, in Flyout, you can also build helicopters, cars, and maybe boats because there's a lot of water. Uh-oh. Yeah, here, we're watching paint dry while we're jamming. See, here, you guys can, you guys can see the paint drying over there. <laughs> Screwed that up. First song you ever learned, Peter Gunn. Smoke's always good. Yours was Hey Jude. Yeah, that's a good song. I don't know how to play that. Here, I'll show you the first. Actually, this isn't the first song, but this is something I've been working on. Ready? that up. In the sunshine of your <laughs> Please tell me you learned other Deep Purple songs. You're missing a part there. I don't know if you could handle it. Oh, God. Well, my Schwartz is pretty big. I'm pretty, I can handle it pretty well. This is such a Back to the Future thing to do, play the electric guitar in the garage. I think that's right. It sounded close. You need to dress up like Marty McFly and do those jams, jam sessions. Keep practicing, keep practicing. Plus siders, you are improving. Yeah, yeah. Roheim. Yeah. Well, I practice every day, dude. I told you. I come out here and I jam. Here, this is what I. It's not. I'm not good at it. I already screwed it up when I tried to play it a second ago. But here. One thing I would suggest is experimenting with the distortion settings. Yeah, I could do that. Master of Puppets. Here, hold on. I can get it.
It's not right. I don't know how to play Aces Hot Eruption. I don't know how to play the rest of it, dude. All right. Spirit of the Radio. Oh, I love that song, but dude, I can't play like Lifeson, man. God of Thunder, another good song. Here, here, here. I got one. I know another one. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> Needs work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad But True is an awesome song. It's probably one of my favorite Metallica songs, dude. Hmm. One more. One more song. What should I play? What do I know a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A uh, thing I used to play on stream all the time. Hold on. I screwed it up. Ah, I messed up.
messed it up. Can you do the ocean? No, another good song though. <laughs> ah, I screwed it up again. <laughs> uh, I can't play like Jimmy Page, man. That's for sure. All right, Misty Mountain Hop. Well, Misty Mountain Hop is on the piano. That's on an electric piano. Let me take a stab at it. Hold on. Then we got to go, dude. We got to play Fly Out. Park just the other day, baby. What do you, what do you think I saw? <laughs> I could do this thing the whole song. It's a good song, man. Going to California. Yeah, I can't do that. Nope. Here, one more. Ready? <laughs> She's got an electric guitar. You can't ask him to play Go to California. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. That's enough. I can't play the rest of that song anyway. Actually, I can probably play a little bit more of it, but whatever. All right, dudes. Yeah. So, the paint's dry, I think. Fly out time. Let's roll. Chat, stand by for loss of signal from the garage, as expected. When are you going to put pants on? Never! So you're back from outer space. I just walked in with you to see the smile on your face. Anyway, <clears throat> Tom Sawyer, good song. Yeah, 3D printers over there. It's an Ender 3 S1 and an Ender 3 Pro. You should definitely take a look at the KSP2 dev chat. It, chat it's 35 minutes long, but it has a lot of good stuff. 
Spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subtle transition. All right, I gotta. I'm gonna put a pot of coffee on and then we'll roll. Here, hold on. We will switch up the category. Uh, first time ever. No, 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 no. Here, here. Bro, I saw a plane fly by once, so I'm an expert. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's a great. That's a great title. Uh, hashtag just one more lane, bro. Yeah, we'll just keep that in there for the cities, folks, too. It'll be great. All right.